In order to use prescription maps on your XEN displays, you will need to make sure you have a valid license prescriptions installed on the display. Prescription maps can be sent to the display wirelessly or copied via USB. To copy prescription maps from a USB, you need to make sure you have a folder called prescriptions within your AG data folder on the USB itself. Within the prescriptions folder will lie your prescription maps. Precision IQ will support .shp, .dbf and .shx ESRI shape file formats. With your prescription map in the prescriptions folder, insert your USB and navigate to the transfer data option on the display. Select the prescriptions folder to import all prescriptions or open the folder and select the specific prescription file you wish to transfer. In order to use prescriptions, you will need to have a field selected and the implement selected that is equipped with a flow control setup. With the target field open, navigate to the prescriptions icon on the right hand side of the display. A list of channels that are configured for the current implement will be displayed on the left hand side and the material that is currently assigned to that channel. To assign a prescription map to that channel, select the channel then press prescription. Navigate to the prescription file you wish to assign to that channel. The prescription map will have listed a distance, which is calculated based off the current vehicle position and the center of the prescription file. With the correct prescription file selected, choose the correct rate column for this file. Some prescription maps can be created to accommodate more than one individual channel at a time. If this is the case with your map, you will need to ensure that the column in the prescription file is that you want to use for the selected control channel. Set the lead time which can be 0 to 10 seconds. This will allow the control channel to start adjusting rate before entering a new zone. Select what you want to do with the rate when the control channel is outside the prescription map. Choose close to turn the channel off. Choose last rate to leave the control channel set to the current rate when it was exiting the map or choose a default rate. If selecting default rate, you will also need to specify the default rate for this channel in the default rate window. Lastly, set the units of application for this product. A control channel that has been assigned a prescription map will be indicated with the RX icon. If the selected material assigned to this control channel has a minimum and maximum application rate that does not coincide with the target rate of the specific prescription map, you will have a warning to review the settings in the material setup or verify that the prescription map is the correct map. In your flow control window within the run screen, you can quickly and easily enable or disable the application map for any particular channel. Simply open the channel you wish to enable or disable the prescription map and use the RX button to turn on or off the prescription. Prescription maps will only work when the target rate option is set to target rate 1. If set to target rate 2, the prescription map will automatically disable and the system will revert to the predefined target rate for that setting. This is regardless of using the soft screen button or the rate button on the master switch box. If a control channel is being controlled to a prescription map, the target rate will be indicated with an RX icon. If running multiple control channels, selecting a control channel will display the target rate map by default. If the primary channel has a prescription map, this will be the displayed at startup. If the control channel you have assigned the prescription is not the primary channel, you will need to select that channel if you wish to see the target rate map. To change the colour scheme of the displayed map, use your layer assignment button and then the settings tool to configure the target rate layer. Set the minimum and maximum values to represent that of your prescription map and set the steps to the number of zones you have on that map. Alternatively, in the Precision IQ settings under Application Control, you can make sure that the Adjust Applied Rate theme for prescriptions is enabled.